We start the clock. Next question, the member for Waterloo. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Speaker, during the campaign, the Premier stated that not one job would be lost, but in recent weeks, he's changed the message saying that no frontline jobs will be lost. But in Kitchener Waterloo, we saw Grand River Hospital cut 25 full time and 15 part time registered nurses uh, three weeks ago. Speaker, these are 40 jobs lost, and good jobs too. One fired full time nursing equals 2,000 thousand hours of lost patient care to people in my community. People deserve better. You cannot rebuild a health care system without frontline nurses in the province of Ontario. So my question is to the Acting Premier. Why did the government not take action to ensure that patients get the frontline care that they need in Kitchener-Waterloo and indeed across the province? The Deputy Premier. Well, I can certainly agree with the member that more frontline care is needed. Nurses are the backbone of our health care system, and we, that is the reason why we brought our plan forward. That is the idea, is to put more people into frontline care, because that's what we hear from patients each and every day in the Ministry of Health. That is what we're working towards with the local Ontario health teams that are going to be built, that will gradually be taking over the responsibilities from the lens. That is what is meant to happen, so that there's a lot of people that want to be able to be delivering that kind of care. I travelled broadly last week, as a matter of fact, with groups that are ready to apply to be local Ontario health teams. Can't wait for the application process to start because they're already doing that level of care. That's what we need to see happening across the problem. Thank you. Supplementary. Member for Waterloo again. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the health minister used to fight for frontline nurses, and she knows that these cuts right now have consequences. For instance, Becky lives with type 1 diabetes and other chronic illnesses. For years, she was too sick to work. She was in and out of the ER due to diabetic crises, regularly spending one month a year in hospital. But everything changed when Becky became a patient at the Diabetes Centre at Grand River Hospital. The monthly visits were invaluable to her chronic illness management, and her long hospital visits all but disappeared. This was a smart strategic investment in health care, but now the Diabetes Center services have been cut in half. Wow, wow. Becky will only be able to access care twice a year. How can the government justify cutting frontline jobs that keep people out of the hospitals and healthy in the province? Minister. Thank you very much, Speaker. There's really two points to be made here. One is that the reason of creating Ontario Health and putting organizations like Cancer Care Ontario, their board, under the uh, Ontario Health is to help promote a better chronic disease management strategy. Yeah. Cancer Care Ontario is an excellent example for providing cancer care and for dealing with renal indications. There's no reason why we can't continue to use that model, which will continue in its present form. They will still be doing the work that they have always done. But that model can be used for diabetes management, for mental health and addictions management. Secondly, with respect to the important role that nurses play in the system, Registered Nurses Association of right, Ontario has endorsed the plan, which we announced several years ago. List, I would like to order. Minister of Transportation, come to order. Of RNAO. Today's I announcement am. marks the beginning of much needed change in the health system and the continued role registered nurses must play in both coordinating care with patients in their communities and in helping Ontarians navigate its complexities. We agree. That is the goal, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you.